Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Jason here coming at you one more again. Uh, the topic of this video is the uh, my Hobby Wing XR10 Pro, and I'll zoom in here, see if I can. Uh, yeah, XR10 Pro. This is the 160A uh, speed control, <clears throat> and the purpose of this video is to show y'all my settings on what I run in my two wheel and my settings what I run in my four wheel <clears throat> and uh, you know I'm not saying this is uh, be all best all settings but this is you know where I start at um, with it some of these settings <clears throat> in my speaker control I have no idea you know what they do but uh, anyway there's some of them that I play with all the time, like boost timing, uh, coast, you know, drag brake, uh, brake force, stuff like that. But there's other settings in there that, you know, I really don't know. But uh, <clears throat> to start off, you know, with this video, <clears throat> if you have this speed control, sorry about that, I'm coming out for cold or something. But if you have this speed control, make sure your speed control is updated. <clears throat> And make sure your Hobby Wing uh, program box is updated. <clears throat> you know, because they, Hobby Wing, good thing about Hobby Wing, they update their software a lot in their speed controls and their boxes. <clears throat> okay, starting off with two wheel. Oh, and also, all my settings will be down below in the description box. And, you know, you can either print that off or, or go look at them. But, uh, <clears throat> starting off, before I hook my program box up to my speed control, I make sure either the positive or negative or both of the bullets or connectors are unplugged so there's no power <clears throat> going to my speed control. Just in case you mess up and hook the box up or, or do something to short it out, <clears throat> you know, this, this prov will prevent it from happening. <clears throat> so. Let's see here. Okay. Yep, pause it. Now I hook my speed control up to my battery. That's just what I do. You can do whatever ever you want. That's just what I do. You know, just to be on the safe side, because I know me, I hook the damn thing up backwards and blow some shit up. But anyway. <clears throat> I'll zoom in on the box here. And I'll scroll through uh, my settings. See if I. Okay, go. Okay, let's zoom out just a tad. Is connecting. Please wait. <clears throat> okay. First thing is I run two wheel buggy. Uh, first thing is one A. Like I said, I'll just go through this this menu. <clears throat> most guys wouldn't even do this. Most of the pros and most of anybody they wouldn't give you their their speed control setting. But being the guy that I am, I will. See, reverse, I got Like I said, I'm, you know, being quiet, just zooming, uh, just scrolling through, 
So, you know, you can watch the video and set up your, your Hobby Wing XR10. And it's in two wheel drive mod, uh, my two wheel drive mod buggy. And feel free, some of y'all can, you know, you might have some settings or something, maybe you can critique me. <coughs> so leave a comment, you know, down below or something. And that, that was the end. So that's my uh, two-wheel drive mod. That was all my settings. Um, in my speed control, and like I said, you know, see something a little off, uh, you can critique me. Let's see, zoom out here again. And like I said, I unplug uh, all my wires before I connect and disconnect. <laughs> the uh, box here just to be on safe side like I said I <laughs> I just have a tendency you know getting in a rush and blowing stuff up so. <clears throat> all right <clears throat> You know, I'll go through them again for you. Saw things value. I don't, I have no idea what that does. Uh, if anybody does, if anybody knows, comment down below. Teach me something. Teach everybody else something, I guess. There's a soft end range. <clears throat> drag brake. I, I don't really like to run a lot of drag brake on a four wheel. Uh, I feel like when I go into a corner with my four wheel, any type of drag brake it seemed like it locks all four wheels down and I just slide I guess so I don't hardly run any drag brake on my four wheel uh, that's just me Boost timing, that's something I'll play with at the track. Either raise it or lower it. <clears throat> when I feel like I need a little more, you know, just to get over some obstacles or just a little more to get out of a section.
To be honest, I hadn't played much with any turbo timing or turbo delay. And that's my uh, forward drive settings for the XR10 Hobbywing 160A speed control. Guys, that was uh, my settings. As I stated before, make sure your speed control is updated. Make sure your box is updated. Uh, because uh, my speed control in my box wasn't updated. And when I updated them, extra features came out. Like before the update, I didn't have Coast. Uh, there was a couple other ones I didn't have. And when I updated, those features came out. So, uh, like I said, Hobbywing is constantly uh, updating their stuff. And maybe there are some features that uh, that would make it make your car work better, make your your whole electrical package work better. But anyway, guys, that's uh, my settings. Y'all take it easy. And like I said, leave some comments down below. Uh, you know, maybe help somebody else. And I have uh, all my settings in the description box. So you, you can print that out, look at it. You know, you don't have to set up your speed control as you're watching the video. You know, you can have that right there and do it that way. Well, that's my two cents. Y'all guys, y'all take it easy.